Joe Diaz uses an electric bike and metro rail to get around Austin. He says he rarely misses having four wheels instead of two. But it's really easy and uh, to get by with these e-bikes, catching uh, a train, and save money in your pockets on the gas. Today, Austin's mayor and council got an update on the city's aggressive plan to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2040. Getting to net zero means the Austin community would reduce use of fossil fuels like oil, gas and coal to nearly zero. Many of the low cost climate actions have already been implemented. So much of the simple things the city has already done. Which leaves the harder, more expensive actions. And that includes persuading people to take metro rail, a bus or a bike to work instead of driving their cars. One of the hardest um, sectors to reduce emissions in Austin, where we have the less di least direct control, uh, is transportation. Austin's chief sustainability officer says electricity used in buildings used to be the largest source of emissions. But with energy use becoming cleaner, transportation is quickly becoming the biggest obstacle to hitting net zero by 2040. Overall, Austin is failing to meet most of the goals laid out in the 2021 Climate Equity Plan. While we're 25, 75% are underway, only 25% are we actually on track to do what we set out to do. Where are we off track? Where do we need to uh, help us catch up? The challenge is finding funding to reach the city's climate goals. Options include a city bond election or getting more federal funding from the Inflation Reduction Act. Austin will hear this fall on the $323 million in grant submissions. Um, so there's potentially a lot of big wins and a lot of big, big funding in for, for projects that um, would support reducing emissions and support uh, climate action. Joe is doing his part to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. He says it helps with more than climate change. Try it out. You know, I lost about 15 pounds. There you go. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.